Hi and welcome to the course Python for Nuke here on Rebelway. My name is Simon Jokushis. I'm a senior 2D Pipeline TD and the founder of Kregel Visual Effects Tools. In this course, we'll learn how to apply Python inside Nuke to create tools with a clean code base. We'll gain a solid understanding of Python and we'll be creating many tools over the next couple of weeks. But we'll start from the very beginning so everybody can follow along. Over the course of the weeks, we'll then increase the difficulty and speed as I'd like to show you also some intermediate and advanced techniques like how to structure your Python packages, creating APIs and the model view controller design pattern, just to name a few. So let's have an overview of what we're doing within this course. So this course is split into eight weeks. In the first week, we'll have a look at how to use Nuke Script Editor and start off with some fundamental concepts in Python like simple variable types, container types, how to iterate over these, list comprehensions, and also how to use if, elif, and else structures, just to name a few. In the second week, we continue with fundamental concepts like functions, classes, and inheritance, but we'll then start diving into the Nuke module and create Nuke-specific things via Python like creating and accessing nodes, updating knobs, and we'll also discuss how to use the init and menu py, and so on. And we'll also create our first small tools that paste your node clipboard to multiple selected nodes and add functionality to bulk disable nodes. In the third week, we continue tool development and create a node aligner tool. We deal with error handling and concentrate on Nuke's event-driven mechanism. We we'll also discuss the downsides of using knob change callbacks and why you should be careful using them. And based on that knowledge, we'll then create some event-driven tools. The fourth week is designated to customizing Nuke's user interface. We'll learn how to create custom menus and commands. And we'll have a look at a round trip for creating a gizmo from scratch and, rest and register it to Nuke's user interface. We'll enhance Nuke's backdrop node with presets and have a look at reading and writing various file formats from and to disk. In the fifth week, we'll then switch to an integrated development environment called PyCharm. We'll have a look at package structures and we'll discuss how to structure and build a toolsets manager in a clean and structured way. Week six and seven are designated for the implementation of graphical user interfaces. Now there are four different techniques to create these in Nuke and we'll have a look at all of them. During that we'll create several tools with graphical user interfaces to see how this all comes together. And we'll also add graphical user interfaces for tools that we've previously implemented. In week 7 we switch over to PySite, which gives us the most flexibility for graphical user interfaces. We'll discuss all necessary components like widgets, layouts, and the signals and slot mechanism. We'll also discuss the model view controller design pattern, which is key to creating decoupled and sustainable code that can be easily extended. In week 8, we'll use all this knowledge to create our final product. We'll create a graphical user interface for our previously created toolsets API so that users can browse, create, and execute Python toolsets. We'll wrap up with some final tips and tricks how to further improve from here. Now this course contains a lot of practical examples and shows you how to apply all of the various techniques you learned. So that after taking this course, you should feel very comfortable creating your own Python tools inside Nuke. Now I've been working as a Nuke compositor for five years, but switched to the technical side of things in 2017 and have been working full time as a Pipeline TD since then. So this course is taught from a Pipeline TD's perspective. I'll put some focus on showing you how to create clean and sustainable code. One thing you will see me doing is to ensure that the code we write is clean and documented, because this is really key when creating software in a professional environment. All right, we have a lot of things to cover, so grab a big cup of coffee and let's go.